So, Scunthorpe. The, uh, as you look at this panoramic, as you can see all the different spaces around here, I think it's quite sort of overwhelming just looking at the expanse. And then to see this word liquid town sort of plastered all over it sort of goes, well, what is, what is a liquid town all about? I think the one thing, I've only been in Scunthorpe for the past five years, but one of the things that I've noticed through meeting so many different people from Scunthorpe, there's a load of amazing people with amazing ideas. The one thing I think that's really lacking um, are the places for those ideas to be realized. I and mean, so what I'm going to journey with you on sort of for the next sort of few moments is our journey of thinking about what it looks like to create Scunthorpe as a liquid town in this modern age. And so in order for us to do this, I think the, the, the important thing to, to recognize is that liquid towns are made out of liquid spaces. And so the definition of a liquid town is something that I was struggling to try and sort of put into a sentence. But essentially what it is, it's a town that is made up of an ecosystem of spaces that are adaptable and flexible for the communities that live around them, so that they themselves can come in there and test out the, the ideas and the solutions that they have. And so, in order for us to make a liquid town, we need to think about actually, what do liquid spaces look like? And so for me, I work for a charity, and one of the things that I've kind of come to realize is that actually the solutions that are needed for our, our time are actually business solutions. They're not solutions necessarily that are gonna be charitable. And I think this for me is the thing that we need to really get our heads around to start off with. So let me introduce you to the first liquid space. Now, from the outside, you're probably looking at this and kind of going, there's some trees growing out the, uh, the side there. There's uh, quite a, a garish looking a handrail there that's uh, a funny yellow. Um, it's, it's a very sad looking space, and this space used to be a library. Um, the reason why we got involved um, with this space was um, some of the librarians got in touch with a few different stakeholders in the local community and said, hey, there's, there's kids that are spending more time on the roof of this library than inside the library, and so that's an issue. Uh, that's, a, that's a problem that we need to address. What are, we, what are we gonna do about it? So a few of us, from different organizations and places kind of said, well, let's, let's, let's think together. Let's think about what, what can make this space relevant sort of to, to this group of young people that's spending sort of more time on the roof. So what we did was that we um, created a youth maker space um, in the back room. So it was in one of their little storage, the, the library was still running, and we basically set up a little youth maker space that basically allowed young people just to come through the library and into the back room and sort of come and be a part of sort of developing ideas, you know, working with local creatives, local businesses, and, and really, you know, just, um, you know, having a space to test, test things out. And so that was four years ago, and we've been on sort of quite a journey. Obviously, we've spoken about COVID, you know, that's had sort of a massive impact. But where we are today is quite a lot further from that back room that we were in with those young people. Right now, what we're sitting with um, is our first um, liquid space. And just down there, now you can see a bit more of the expanse of the neighborhood that we're in, uh, in, in the Crosby area. That's what the space looks like right now, if those at the back can see. Um, we've got coffee plastered across the walls. We've got... Um, We've got some raised beds, you know, we've painted a lot of stuff. We've even got a container next, next to it, which I'll tell you about in a moment. But what we're doing right now is, yes, we've changed the external sort of, of the actual building, but what we're thinking about now is actually sort of how do we sort of develop the inside, okay? And so that's where we're at at the moment, is I'm going to take you inside and show you some of the spaces that we've developed. These, this is just three of the spaces that I'm going to talk about, but I'll, I don't have pictures of the others just because they were too messy at the time, so I didn't want to take a photo of them. Um, but one of the things that was sort of a real need was actually just creating an inviting, welcoming space. Rather than being stared at by librarians expecting your late books, 
we created a, a coffee shop, not just any coffee shop, a specialty coffee shop that would enable us to train the future baristas, the future roasters, uh, people in hospitality to kind of learn how to do coffee really well, um, but also keep the library. So we didn't lose the library. We, we thought that was an integral part sort of to the space. So we've, we've, we've adapted the library for the community uh, that was there. Um, we've turned this space behind me, we've turned that into a workshop, which is a home to all sorts of photographers. Um, we've got people doing baby yoga. We've even got a VR startup uh, that's busy, busy trying to develop uh, ways in which we can actually map the space in the metaverse. Um, to actually use the space and to actually engage young people um, that are in the local schools in actually accessing some of the startups and the people that are actually using the space. Finally, or not finally, but on the third, on the third picture, we've got our podcast studio um, that we built sort of about a year ago, um, which is a space for people to have those longer form discussions. Because as we've already spoken about, social media has created these soundbite exchanges and I think the, the reality is especially for communities um, of the future and, and, and liquid uh, sort of towns and spaces we need to have spaces where people can come and actually have these longer form discussions and people that want to start podcasts that they don't need to save up to get them started they actually can just come in press a button and, and get the conversation going because as we know I think the reality of space as I said right at the beginning was that People have the ideas, people have the things that they want to implement, it's just that the spaces are just not there um, to give them uh, that, that chance. And so, the, the places that aren't on, this, on, this, on these slides, we've got a kitchen, uh, which is an incredible space to, to uh, make incredible meals uh, for local communities. We've, got, we've just got a new project that's just started. Um, called uh, the Real Junk Food Project, which basically cooks a whole bunch of all the waste food from the supermarkets, and that's available on a Monday. Um, we've got an upholstery studio, uh, which is an amazing space for reupholstering, um, and we've got other businesses that are also using the studio. And last but not least, as I mentioned before, we've got our new container space, because we recognize that, yes, we've got these fixed buildings, but actually, in order for us to grow, we need to think about how containers can be used in and around Scunthorpe in order to give people, again, that opportunity to test out ideas. The container might not be the end goal, but what we need to show people is that actually, is it about that location? Is it about that location? Are containers useful for you know, that shop or, or you know, that organization? And so that's the journey that we're on at the moment, which is really exciting. And so we, we're at this at this, um, this, this moment in time that it's an opportunity for us to think about sort of how we, how we move forward. What does the movement look like? The movement has begun, but the thing is, is actually who's going to join us in this next chapter? Who's going to come and actually be a part of shaping the next four years, the next 10 years, as we start to develop more spaces, uh, work with other organizations? And so, Whoa, that's not the slide that I expected. That's the slide that I expected. The, the, the real challenge to you is sitting in this room is, will you join us? And for those that are listening online, sort of think about joining us and thinking about your spaces. You know? But for those that are in the room, what spaces are around you in your communities? How are you uh, able to access spaces yourself, your organization? Or do you want to come and volunteer? and be a part of learning sort of what this new future looks like sort of as we step um, into, yeah, into what, what we could achieve. And so really for me, the challenge is, I think for many um, projects, you know, that, that, that I've seen and seen start and, you know, develop over the past few years, the one thing that struck me was that many organizations and, and people are really more interested in actually getting the credit of the, the final result. And I think what we need to start to establish at the moment is people that have a cathedral mindset. You know, for many people that worked on cathedrals, they never saw the end of the cathedral. Their lifetime, often they died and they never saw the end. But I think what we need to start to do is develop a movement of people 
that are willing to put the time and the effort in, even if they don't see the end. And, and that's the, the real uh, opportunity that we have going forward as we start to explore liquid spaces and liquid towns is, will you come and join us? Will you come and think about spaces differently and think about how our communities are shaped? And so my challenge to you sort of as we go sort of from this place is to, is to really be critical Think about sort of those spaces, get involved in those local spaces, and, and start to imagine and reimagine them um, as things that actually would benefit those communities around and, and benefit you sort of as you utilize them. Thank you.